Oh yeah. Super juicy. What kind of juice is that? It's a lot of lime and a lot of lemon. Perch and some cilantro and some cucumber. Ooh. Ooh. It's a juicy one. Mmm. My god. Mm-hmm. If you're at all interested in making ceviche from barred surf perch, this video is for you. This channel is called Hook to Cook, and I'm gonna do the cooking part right now. I have been doing some hooking. We caught all the fish that you're about to see me prepare uh, on my last trip. It was unfortunate, but I ended up getting a microphone from Amazon for my GoPro, and there is an on and off switch, and I didn't have it on at all. So normally for these catch and cook videos, I would put uh, a lot of the clips or at least start off fishing and catching them right in front of you before I actually start cooking. But as I mentioned, I did not capture any audio. So I really want my videos to be very high quality, educational, as well as entertaining. And I feel like I really want good audio in every single video that I produce for you guys. So if you're interested in high quality fishing videos and cooking, definitely hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell. That being said, let's get to cooking. Here are the ingredients and the things that you will need. I like to have a protein source that is a white meat fish that really is capable of soaking in all of the flavors. I have ceviche quite a bit because my fiance is pescatarian, so uh, this recipe that I'm about to show you is a culmination of all the different flavors that I've had that I really like with ceviche and also a blend of the things that I've learned growing up, especially if you've seen the previous videos, my dad has always fished when I was growing up, so I've seen quite a bit of different ingredients going into ceviche. So again, uh, we're gonna do barred surf perch today. You're gonna want some red onion. Today I'm gonna use a half a red onion. I'm gonna use some cucumber. I like having quite a bit of cucumber because I like the crispness to it and it kind of cleanses the palate there. I have some cherry tomatoes here. I will be adding some cilantro and a ton of lime. I actually like the lime a little bit better than just using lemon because you just really get those set citrus notes uh, in whatever you end up cooking. I will be using some of these pepperoncinis. And last but not least, just to add a little bit of kick, I will add one serrano. In terms of the things that you will need, you're going to need something to catch all the lime juice, just to make sure you have enough. And then a few mixing bowls on the side where you can kind of store the ingredients uh, right before you're going to mix it all together. And then one last thing that I'm gonna go ahead and add will be salt. So I will be prepping these, but this is a good time to go ahead and throw in the clips of me and my dad catching all these fish. I hope you enjoyed that footage, even if I didn't have the audio. Next time I go out, I'm definitely going to make sure that I switch that microphone on. It's gonna be really good audio quality, so I'm excited to use it and use it properly. I'm just gonna to have to set myself a reminder to make sure that I get the audio right. 
Let's prepare these ingredients. I really like starting off with the easy stuff first. So let's start with the limes. Let's get that out of the way because it really doesn't matter if it's sitting in the bowl. Next, onions. I'm definitely not the best chopper in the world. Leave in the comments below what your tips are to keep from crying when you're cooking onions. Next, we're gonna do the cucumbers. I like to cut them the long way first and then chop them into little cubes from there. All right, there's a cucumber. I think I did too much cucumber. I don't want to do too much. So maybe three was too much. So I'm gonna eat those with some tahini. <laughs> you think we use enough tahini in this uh, household? Oh yeah, thumbs up to you. Know what this is like. Mm. All right, since we're about a quarter of the way through and I'm feeling really, really accomplished, <laughs> I think it's time to have a beverage. I'm a really big fan of uh, Elysian. They make Space Dust IPA super, super good. If you're over the age of 21, I highly recommend it. Try it. Ooh, that's good. All right, now back to the preparation. All right, now we're gonna chop up our Serrano. We don't want it overwhelmingly spicy. It's got all those seeds in it, so we're gonna go ahead and take those out. Now, if you guys know Serrano's, a little definitely goes a long way. So this one pepper will uh, definitely go a long way for us, but I know everyone's different. So you can adjust your recipe to have one or maybe two, maybe even one and a half. It's up to you. But I like to chop them very, very fine. That'll add a little kick. Next we have the cilantro. And now we're just gonna go ahead and cut up our tomatoes. So I'm gonna cut them into thirds. And then don't worry really about the order of which your ingredients are being prepared because it's all pretty much gonna sit until you mix it all together and that's all you're gonna be doing. And the reason I'm kind of doing it in chunks is I like that burst of flavor and juiciness when you bite into them. And I don't want it to just all fall apart when you start mixing it together. And now the main star of the show, the surf perch. I like vacuum sealing mine when I fillet them. Just keeps them fresh and it allows me to have options on what I want to do with the fish. I definitely like the fact that I don't get freezer bird when I do vacuum seal them and it does buy me time to prepare them the way that I want when I want. It's just a nice little package. And then the nice thing is, is if I do have them frozen, it allows me to prepare them weeks after I've caught them and not have the freezer burn. I 
I think a key to a good ceviche and in terms of size of the chunks that you cut them into is think about what can you pick up with a tortilla chip or a cracker because that's what people eat ceviche with or maybe what can you pick up with a fork so that's the idea is in terms of being able to uh, cut these into small enough chunks that would fit on a tortilla chip. All right guys, so that is about six perch worth of meat right there. I'm gonna go ahead and throw it in this big bowl. Got all of our other ingredients in there. And I don't think I have enough lime juice. So I went in the backyard and I went ahead and picked some lemons. So we're gonna juice those real quick and we're gonna make this mix this all together. And we're gonna go ahead and add our salt. I like to add it right to the fish so that there's tons of flavor in it. Don't be afraid to mix things with your hands. Some people ask me about preparation in terms of being able to protect uh, ourselves from parasites. Sometimes with fish that you catch in the wild, you will get some parasites. So it is a good practice to freeze them overnight at least. But what's really good about ceviche is you do have the opportunity to kill them with the lime. So the longer you let that sit in the lime juice, the longer those parasites start to be killed by the acidity of this lime juice. So that allows anything that's in there that's living to really die off. So ceviche is definitely a safe thing to eat. So basically what's happening is the meat is cooking in that lime juice because it's so acidic. So usually when we prepare ceviche, we'll usually let it sit in its own juices for at least an hour before we start to eat it. And then what's really good about that is you can leave it in the fridge overnight and it just gets better tasting after that. And to this mixture, we're gonna go ahead and add our pepperoncinis straight from the jar, just like that. And we will add our juices as well, just to give it a bit of that vinegary, brine taste. Oh, that's going to be so good. And now we're going to take our other bowl and pour in all the rest of our other ingredients. There you go. Onions and all. Oh yeah. And again, don't be afraid to get your hands dirty. We're going to go ahead and mix them just like a salad. Start to see the meat come up. This is one of the most colorful dishes that you can make. Oh yeah, that looks great. And the reason you wanna kinda of toss it is cause you don't wanna grind up all those tomatoes that you just cut. So it's basically a very, very chunky salsa with the protein mixed in, in the form of your fish. Again, you can do this with snapper. You can do this with, in this case, perch. That looks great. All right, so we'll go ahead and let that sit for an hour or so before we eat this. As I mentioned, I didn't really have enough lime, so I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze these lemons in there. I got about four from my tree. And then just a helpful hint for you fishermen out there, when you guys clean up your fish, and you're filleting them, it's not a bad idea to bury the guts near your fruit trees to be able to give that tree some more nutrients. When it comes to your fruit trees, they really enjoy that extra fertilizer that the water that you use to clean your fish produces. It's actually gonna make that plant healthier. So a lot of these lemons have benefited from a lot of my catches being buried next to the roots. So give that a shot when you have a chance. Look who just joined us. Hi. Hi. So before I turned on the camera, I was just thanking Veronica for being so supportive of my channel mm -hmm. and uh, humoring me. When she comes home, she comes home to some good lighting and uh, some videos and she doesn't really mind being in the videos, no. uh, especially when she catches fish, right honey? Yeah, I love it when I have a fish, that's better. And uh, yeah, we are getting married on November 9th. Mm -hmm. So are you excited? Yeah. Okay, good. 
super excited. I'm excited because I, I found somebody who uh, supports what I love to do, which is fish and cook and share it all with you guys. And um, yeah, she's along for the journey, so. Yes. I'm very, Can't very get happy. rid of me now. I guess not. No. And, and Dexter. Dexter's along. Dexter wants to say hello. That's Dexter. Hi. He's been in quite a few <laughs> of the videos. He's on our, uh, he's been on the boat catching some trout. He but likes to lick them. He likes to lick them, yes. And eat trout, or no, it was mackerel heads. <laughs> okay, now that we got him up, he, can't, he doesn't want to go down. No, all right, no, all right, go down. He's, he's like, no, 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 I want to stay up here. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. Sorry, sorry. So yeah, I'm definitely thankful for uh, all the people in my life. You guys have seen my dad too. And uh, yeah, I just look forward to putting together more and more good content for you guys where you can learn. I wanna make videos that are educational as well as entertaining. And then, uh, yeah, I get to introduce you to amazing people in my life, uh, whether it's my family, my fiance, and uh, my friends that I fish with, which uh, again, if you guys uh, haven't subscribed, subscribe now. Uh, that way you can see, but uh, I have a lot lined up in terms of people that you might recognize who will be on this channel. But without further ado, no, I'm eating cucumber. I got my Taco Works chips here, and we got a big old bowl. I don't know, it's probably like three pounds, four pounds of mm. ceviche. And again, this is a recipe that's kind of hodgepodge. It's like a bunch of flavors that I think are really good. So honey. Am I the first to try it? You are the first to try it. Now again, I've let this marinate for quite a while before she arrives, so take a look at this. Oh yeah. Super juicy. Mm. It's got a good amount of juice in it. What kind of juice is that? It's a lot of lime and a lot of lemon. Perch and some cilantro and some cucumber. Ooh. Ooh. It's a juicy one. So again, I just wanted to chop everything up so that it fits on the chip. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. Is there a spice in there? Yes. There's mm. one whole serrano pepper in there. Mm. That's good. That's My good. turn. <laughs> what, well, what do you notice? Uh, explain the complexity. The complexity. The cucumber helps to chill it out, but there's like a little, little bit of a spice there. The tomato is really good with it, just the juiciness. The the lemon and the lime flavor, the combination of both is like really nice. Mm -hmm. And then the fish is just really fresh, and it just absorbs the flavor of everything else. So there's a good amount of like the cilantro that comes through on that as well. So they all play nicely together. Yes. Did you get any of the pepperoncinis? No, I didn't. Okay, so I'll try that. Okay, so as you Combo can shot. as oh. you can see, guys, the clearer meat fish starts to whiten up because of the lime and the lemon. So look at that. That's how it looks. So that meat that was clear, kind of translucent, turns white, and that's how you know that it's cooking in that lime juice. The acidity. The acidity just really gets in there. And again, if there are any parasites, it kills them. So let's try this. No parasites here. <laughs> They're not me. Mmm. Am I good? Mm-hmm. Having that lime in there with that. Game changer. It's got that little bit more of a citrus than the uh, lemon alone, so. Mm. Not too. You're right, that cucumber just mellows it all out. I'm gonna have one more bite. One more bite. I already had one. And what's really good about this, guys, is we made a lot. We made a lot of ceviche. And we can actually leave this in the fridge. And the longer it sits in the fridge, just the more that fish absorbs the flavor, the sweetness from the tomatoes, the mellowness from the cucumbers, the, the acidity from the peppers and the lime, and it just, continues to it's amazing. get better and better. It's like a fine wine. It just gets better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's better with age. Mm. It's yum. I know, and Veronica was just telling me too that she was just really, really hungry. She called me right when I was done filming this video and uh, she arrived, so. We're gonna enjoy the rest of our evening, our beverage of choice, and uh, 
I some more <laughs> some more of this uh, amazing ceviche so I want you guys to try this I definitely think this was a success it's a very easy recipe easy to prepare and I think your only uh, thing to be careful with is keeping all your fingers with all the chopping that you do there's no cook no cook at all super easy it cooks itself all right guys we'll get you later remember some people fish to release some people hook to cook peace